The last time I competed for scholarships, I told you where I had been, where my journey had brought me. I told you about how I had spent 279 days in, an, in and out of mental institutions provided for by the VA and how that led me to Carl Sandburg College. As you can tell, I'm not dressed up. My tattoos are showing, my piercings are in, and my new mohawk is spiked. That's because I don't want to come to you and convince you of a person that I'm not. I could take out my piercings and hide my tattoos, but I don't think that's fair. You wouldn't be giving that person the scholarships. You are giving me the scholarships. I wanted to come before you just as I am. I am an artist on a mission. You see, 13 of my brothers and sisters have committed suicide since 2003. That's 13 that I personally know. 10 from one unit. Out of 110 men that deployed to Camp Buga, Iraq, every single one of us came home. 10 of them are no longer with us. That's almost 10% of one unit. That is absolutely unacceptable. Those deaths constitute an absolute failure of the system that has been put in place to prevent this. My journey will not stop until I obtain a PhD in art therapy. As I spoke of before, there's not very many art therapy programs within the VA. And there's even less in the general population. Art therapy is still a relatively new science. By the time I finish my PhD, some 58,100 souls will have committed suicide. When I sign my work, I sign it with 22. My name and 22. That reminds myself how many souls I could not save that day. Every day that goes by, more die, more senseless deaths. And that's before COVID hit. I'm afraid that once we compile the data over this last year of isolation, the suicide rates amongst the American population are going to skyrocket. And the veteran suicide rate is already double that of any other demographic within the United States. According to the VA, 20.43 veterans commit suicide every day. 16 of them are veterans, with the remaining being on active duty or National Guard reserves. How is this happening in the greatest country on the planet? We have the world's most powerful military force in the history of the world, and we're letting 20.43 of our heroes commit suicide every day. And that's why I cannot stop and I will not quit school until I have obtained a PhD because I can no longer because I can no longer sit on the sidelines. I don't have it in me. I let 13 of my brothers and sisters die. Maybe I could have helped, maybe I couldn't. In 5 years that won't be a problem because I will be in a position to help. The art that you see behind me is some of the things that I have done since my time at Carl Sandburg College. I have been published in Pazogs. I my paintings won awards in the student art show. And that's what your scholarships have done for me. They have provided me the opportunity to purchase the equipment that I needed to succeed in the art world. I have two giant easels. I have this desk. I have endless amounts of supplies that I have gotten, either through or because of the scholarships that you have so graciously awarded me. Along with my art, I've also managed to maintain a 4.0. I'm 50 credits in of the 64 needed for me to graduate Carl Sandburg College. I've maintained a 4.0. It's not really fair. 
because I hold a secret. You see, I had to ask for help, even after my time in the hospitals. Last semester, around finals time, I was homeschooling my son, all the art projects had caught up, and my memory started to go because of the stress. So now, I have power of attorneys that, that take care of my finances and help me make medical decisions. I also have in-home healthcare workers that come and make sure I get my meds and who also help around the house. I essentially have a VA provided maid that comes in and washes my dishes, vacuums my floor, does my laundry, does meal prep. And so if I can be an example of what to do, then I wanna do it. The first thing we have to do is to get rid of the stigma that exists for asking for help. And that's the main thing that I wanna do with my PhD is we have to get rid of the stigma of mental health. We have to get rid of the stigma of mental health in general. We have to get rid of the stigmas that it's not okay to ask for help. I have created an, initi an initiative and I'm calling it the Freeborn Initiative. And it its creed goes like this. Help where you can and expect nothing in return. If you need help, ask, because you know that those that come to your aid will do so expecting nothing in return. And because it is in helping others that we truly are born free or reborn free. I have plan to build my initiative into art therapy centers around the country. I also intend to turn modern psychology and modern art therapy upside down. Our methods are outdated. It's based on a population that no longer exists. We can no longer treat our veterans and our mentally ill the same way we did 50 years ago. Our intention spans are smaller. We live a faster pace. And as of right now, we can't even leave the house. I ask you to help me on my journey. I have, a, I have only a short time left at Sandberg, but I need the help. My GI Bill has run out because in the 10 years I spent in darkness after I got out of the military, I tried to go to school three times, but I withdrew each time or failed. My bill has run out. And yes, I have a stipend and a pension and I could probably afford it, but I'm also a single father. So I'm asking for your help and I'm asking for your consideration. Thank you and have a great day.